welcome back to Unicorn Dust Designs. Today we're doing something a little different and I am showing you my Dollar Tree Hoarders Haul. By Hoarders Haul, I mean those of you that love Dollar Tree and you go in, you kind of had that blackout moment, you get to your car and you're like, where did all this stuff come from? And then you come home, you either one, leave it in your car, two, you put it in a closet and kind of forget about it, and or three, you put it in your craft room and don't even take it out of the bags. So let's go ahead and get into this hoarder's haul. So don't act like this isn't your life, okay? The bags that you bring in from Dollar Tree and you set on the floor, don't worry about my piles, okay? Then we got some more like over here behind the door. I think I even had some like over there so we're gonna go through this stash okay we're gonna see what I thought I needed at the time <laughs> all right you guys so I showed you uh I bought this stuff put it in the craft room have not taken it out of the bags I'm pretty sure this is like a collection of like three weeks at least let me know what you do down in the comments are you someone that like hides like your Dollar Tree stuff from your spouse. So you organize it right away and pretend like, well, what are you talking about? I've always had this. Or are you somebody like me that grabs it, puts it in your craft room and doesn't even go through the bags? Or are you like, I only buy it when I need it. Um, I think I'm getting to that point though. I definitely am, but let's start going through and let's see what I thought I needed at the time that I haven't touched in three weeks, okay? Um, so first off, I remember I was dying for this decal, okay? And I finally found it and uh, yeah, I haven't even been doing Easter or spring crafts lately. So <laughs> there's that. Oh. I, I'm pretty sure there's a lot of spring stuff that I had bought because I had been waiting for it and then just didn't get around to it. Um, I got some canvases. So I never realized the bigger these canvases are, they have the MDF in them. And so do the canvas prints from Dollar Tree. So the smaller ones, this is six by eight, five by seven, and then the one, maybe it's four by six. Those all have the wood frames on them. So that's why I grabbed these because we're gonna do some TikTok DIY hack thank you majiggers on Tuesday so stay tuned um so see I did get those for a reason these you guys I think I had like a DIY in mind and I completely lost it I don't know what these were for I know I don't have them in my Dollar Tree collection. So how many did I think I needed? Uh, seven, not even an even number. Who am I? What was I thinking? This, I don't, I don't know, but I feel like anything you get that is wood at the Dollar Tree is a pretty good price and you know you're gonna use it, right? Okay, let's see what else, okay. Got a napkin rack, that's for our uh, TikTok DIY. So if you have one of those, save it for Tuesday's video. I know what I got these for. So Dollar Tree's already like sold out of their planters and I don't know why I'm silly and I wait and I'm like, mm, let me see if I'm gonna do something. And then I go and they're already completely gone. But who is it? Jamie Ray that does like the, um, what do you call it? Thrift flips and all of that stuff. She took these Dollar Tree planters and she used the IOD molds on them and stuff and completely like covered this and transformed them. So I wanted to try that. So I told myself only get two because you don't even know if you're going to make them yet. And look, still haven't made them yet. So there's I should just keep everything out of the bag so that it like entices me to put it away. But then that means I would have to take several trips to the basement. Yeah, we won't do that. We'll put them back. 
All right, what else? Floral foam. I've been using a lot of this and I prefer the ones that are like cut up, you know, not like the one whole piece. I like, I prefer these. So, um, I grabbed two of them. Those are in my view. What? Oh, this is, yeah. See? Yeah. The kids were with me, so we got socks. Obviously, they didn't need them that bad because they're still in the bag. So, that's so weird. This fits one to seven and then seven to two, yet these are like substantially bigger than these. Did not even notice that. Like, look at that. I'm like, what would a seven be in kids? Cause like every is like a size one. I don't know. I don't know how these work, but I love getting the socks from Dollar Tree because uh, if you have kiddo, I could literally show, do, do not mind my house. Okay, I'm just, I don't want you to see all the junk. There's a sock right there. And there's a sock, right? Where, where's my finger? I don't know. You see it. It's over there. Um, my house is lost right now. But literally, there's socks everywhere, and we can never find a matching pair. So I always get those because then if I lose them, I don't care if, you know, at least I didn't spend a lot of money on them. I got some goodie clips. The other day, I was looking for a clip, and I was like, I don't have clips. I don't wear clips in my hair. Uh, Everly has curly hair. So sometimes like if she's taking a shower or something, we'll clip it up. And I was like, I don't have clips. I have tons of scrunchies. Oh, sorry. Sorry over there, Mr. Hank. So I just grabbed a two pack of these just to throw my hair up in. And then because, so I bought these Dione eyelashes. One, I, I don't wear lashes. I don't know how to put them on. I've attempted them many times, but I think I was so obsessed with the packaging. And I mean, the lashes themselves are beautiful and they're a little bit more like t on the tamer side that I was like, let's just buy them and then like play around with it and try it. So we'll see if that happens. But I mean, look at how pretty that packaging is. And I'm sure this is a new packaging. I always wondered, let me know if you are into the lashes. Are they the same lashes, but they come out with different just like boxes and themes? Or is it always a new lash style with the new themes that they come out with? I don't know. All right. Found this in the gardening section. And I just grabbed it for the pieces. I mean, to take these off, cover them with like a choice of scrapbook paper, put a button there. You can use this and cover it up for a different sign, or you can use all of it as is, or just make a sign and not cover any of it. I gotta adjust, I got my big tummy here. I gotta work around now. Ooh, and then I found this, Raw Sugar Simply Hand Wash. Cold press, plant-derived ingredients and cold press extracts for positively good clean skin raw coconut and mango the bottle's kind of weird oh i didn't even smell it oh my gosh that smells amazing my word oh my gosh i wish this was a lotion oh wow and I'm even pregnant, so my smells are all over the place, but whoa. Yeah, this is a hand wash. Oh my gosh, I really wish that was a lotion. And I think Raw Sugar is a name brand. Crafted with love in Southern California. Wow. So for every product sold, Raw Sugar Living donates one bar of soap for families in need, up to 5 million bars yearly. That's really cool. So I'm glad I grabbed that. I'll have to keep that out. Kind of weird though, cause you have to actually like hold it, open it. I don't know. Okay. Anyways, found this decal and I thought maybe I might use it for baby M's um, 
little baby nook. I'm not sure, but like how pretty are these just to put in? I know I got some. Look at these. Look at how beautiful and chic these frames are from Dollar Tree. I think I grabbed four just because I was like, I love the simplicity of them. They're just regular. The backs come off so you can make signs with these, trays, anything. But even just using this and like putting that in the middle as art, I mean, ease. Sorry, Mo, is the bag in the way? What are you doing eating the carpet? Frankie, got three dogs, it's like having the kids home. But yeah, so this would be so cute. Attach some like a beaded hanger to it. So I found those, we'll see. I think those could be really cute in BBMs, little reading though. Uh, here's another one of those plant things, but this one had the little watering cans different flowers, and then a different saying, plant one on me. So again, I liked these things because I felt like I could use the pieces separately. I feel like I'm over there, you know, you know? Okay, what else did we get that we thought we needed? I thought I needed, I guess. Oh, this one is different. Welcome bees and butterflies. That one's cute too. So again, use the pieces separately, all together in a sign. Like, I feel like separately, this could be a really cute um, outdoor sign. So yeah, grab those. Oh, here's, I found this. If you have kiddos, grandkids, hands-on backyard fun nature. I thought this would be very good for summertime to keep the kids busy, especially now, Everly can read quite well so even independent play but um like let me show you backyard fun so like for instance this says soil and then it says like why soil is important to your backyard then it says soil find out what makes up the soil in your backyard dig up some soil from the edge of the flower bed put it in a bucket Shake some soil and a sieve over the bucket. Sort what is left behind onto some paper. You may find stones, bits of plants, or even creatures. So like, it just kind of takes them through, you know. Now put some soil into the screw top jar. Fill the jar nearly to the top. Shake it, then leave the jar to stand. Carefully look at the jar without disturbing it. The soil will settle. So I just thought it was really cool. And then they like go over like how it, like the soil will break up, what it's called. So I thought this would be really cool to like get them outside, not on their pads and like doing something. I didn't see any more of these. So if you guys know if there's more of them, let me know. Cause I'll be on the hunt for those. This is Miss Everly, you know, up, yeah, you know, you know the kids when they're like, Oh, I need this for this. She said she needed it for the little, was it a football or a soccer field she made at school and they like cut up the straws to like flick them, you know? So she said we needed these. So I got them and has, obviously she has not touched that soccer football field because these are still in the bag. So let's leave those out. Maybe it'll entice her to get them out. Uh, oh wait, did I grab a new rub-on transfer, at least new to me. I love rub-on transfers because they could transform anything, anything. And they're so easy to use. So anytime I see a new rub-on transfer from Dollar Tree, it goes in my cart. Throw it in the cart. Oh, there's another one. There's another one. Let's see. Okay, so this one is for sensitive skin. This one's green tea cucumber and aloe vera. Oh, I don't want to take the thing off though. Cause I'm like, I'm not going to use it. Whatever. We'll use it. Oh. oh my gosh. You guys, these smell like got some on my nose. Amazing. And how beautiful would these be like in a gift bag or something like that are, you know, oh, these are, these smell 
I need to stop buying soap. But you know what? Summer's coming and the kids are gonna need soap. Got marbles. We're gonna use those for the TikTok DIY. Let me tell you, it took me a while to find the marbles because I assumed that they would be in the kids' toy section because that's usually what marbles are used for, to play. No, marbles, y'all, are in the floral section by the floral foam, the like rocks and pebbles and all that. That's where you're gonna find that, okay? So, now you know. We got a planter, another planter, possibly for a DIY. I'm pretty sure I have multiples of this one sitting in the basement somewhere under something. Oh look, oh look, more floral foam. But this was at a different store and I bought it because I thought I wasn't gonna be able to find the cubed one. This one's like just one piece, but I did find it. And I bought more of these baskets. I'm pretty sure I already have enough of these. And some, these are the cake pans, two of them. So we're actually gonna be using these for DIYs as well on Tuesday. So at least I, I know some of it I was gonna use. These I just bought because, I mean, look at those. They're wood plaques, but I just thought that they were such a great size. And I mean, you can do anything with these. Mod Podge them, you can put decals on them, you can put air dry clay on them. I mean, yeah. So I grabbed probably three. And then I've been obsessed. Their um, magnets have been so beautiful lately. Bless this home. And they have so many more and they looked they look so high end to me. I don't know why. It's not like I'm a magnet, what do you say that, aficionado or something, a connoisseur, I don't know, whatever. It's not like I collect things, but like I just thought, they look so nice. All right, what's the surprise? Don't you like though, when you go through your bags again, it's almost like you're just seeing it for the first time and you're like, ooh, what's that with these? Well, didn't use these. Pretty sure I was just gonna put flowers in these, which I still can. This one says Cottontail Farms, open daily, carrots, chocolate, eggs. I think I was gonna just make little bouquets out of these and put them in my booth. And then this one is carrot, little bunny carrot garden, you pick fresh daily. Of course it says my battery is gonna die. But make sure you check the images on these because like you can see this one is like completely crooked, but it's straight on the front. So make sure to check that. You guys, if you watched my DIY videos, you know I have been going crazy over my Spanish moss. Got some nautical rope because we'll need that as well. And then you guys, these were the only two. I had an amazing subscriber send me some as well. But I found these two, they were the only two left of the metal, what are they calling this? Just metal ribbon in the floral garden. And these were in the floral section, like by the green foam and all of that. So I grabbed these, we'll have to see what we do with them. I know a lot of people have been getting them and are like, okay, what do we do with them? We will figure it out. All right, what else? I know there's more. I know there's more, y'all. Okay, so these were the frames. Now let me go get the other bags, okay? Just grab the, the two other bags that I had downstairs and like both Hank and Momo gave me the look of, you know, I'm like, don't need your judgment here. Okay, so yeah, see this is Easter stuff that I didn't get to. Uh, let's see, these are absolutely adorable. So these are like the bristled carrots or something that it just says decor. But these are so cute, very like shabby chic. Love them and I still can use them. It's not like Easter's here yet. 
But for me too, our stuff came out so late Easter wise that I'm like, even if I don't use this stuff this year, at least I can store it and then pull it out next year and not have to worry about finding it. So I had found the plain craft eggs, the plain bunnies that I had been searching for. Cause you have to think like we start, you know, as creators so much earlier, cause we want you guys to be able to go grab this stuff too. But our stuff just came out so late that I kept waiting and waiting and waiting. And then it never came. Um, I found these, it says that they're garland. And I thought these would be cute. Like even if you like hot glue it to like the top of a sign, you know, and like the bottom. Um, so not necessarily using it as a garland, but using it as like, I don't know, other decor or even taking them off the twine and like putting them in a bowl or something like that. Hank, what are you doing? Okay. Hi. Hi. Okay. Love you. So I grabbed two of those. Then I found the beautiful, I mean, you guys. How they are just getting like so chic and farmhouse. Uh, my girlfriend Holly actually sent me a picture of like a farmhouse section Dollar Tree is coming out with, and I was like blown. Away. I was blown away. Um, but I mean, they're they're pretty darn on point with their graphics. Like, look at. Ugh. And these two, even if you don't craft for Easter or anything, or you don't decorate, the signs themselves are just a really great shape to like DIY with. So I would recommend getting them for that. And they like really utilize this entire sign. I mean, there's not a blank spot anywhere. And the fonts are gorgeous. I mean, I don't know. I was, what are you? trying to get and then they came back out with these these i could not find last year at all i think my girl Teresa b diy sent me like two of these last year and i still i still haven't used them for anything so what did i do i bought two more you guys uh. i don't think i have to hide from you guys because if you're dollar tree crafters then you know, you know the problem, you know, you know what we do, okay? And this is what we do. We buy more, even if we haven't even touched the ones that we have yet. So, sorry, I keep moving this around. These are the two cutting boards. I don't, these are the same exact images as last year. I didn't see any new ones, so let me know. And then of course, I mean, why wouldn't I grab these? They're gorgeous, gorgeous. Just make sure when you're buying these that you make sure the, the center image is centered and not like super crooked. But I mean, how on trend and on point, they got the black and white one, this beautiful blue one, bunny trails, carrots, candy, bunny parking in back. I mean, these are just so, I mean, you can find things like this at Hobby Lobby. It just blows my mind. Bunny Trail Farms, open nine to five, locally grown, farm fresh eggs and produce. Like, look at how, these are just so beautiful. And what I loved about these two is for crafting purposes. So like I grabbed one of each. I, I wasn't sure if I would necessarily decorate with them, um, but I was like, even DIYing, like all you'd have to do if you're like into the pink and white, I'd say a nursery is just cover this, put like your baby's name on it, date, this and that. And then same thing with this, cover this with some scrapbook paper and make it a completely different sign. But the bones are already there for you. So you don't have to do much with it. And like you guys, these are like pretty sturdy signs. So I got those and then I found, which I don't think I've seen before, are just like the plain LED candles. And I just bought these because I wanted to Mod Podge napkins over them. 
Do they have the waxy fill to them? Let me see. Let me see for you guys. Because if they're just straight plastic, I mean, you could still Mod Podge over it, but okay. There's, you guys, there's plastic over plastic. They have like a slight waxy texture to them. So that's the only reason I grabbed these. These are great too if like you're a creator or you like posting on Instagram just for, um, like pictures of your DIYs and stuff just to add some ambiance to there. So there's that. I think the last thing, you guys, that wasn't that bad. I thought this was going to be like super bad. No, we did good. Are these beautiful? My husband was with me when we actually found the, oh goodness, and they came in clear green. I think it was only clear and green. I, I there might be another color maybe that I've seen somebody haul, but these clear ones are gorgeous. Like I don't even want to do anything to them. I just thought that they would be really pretty like out on like a patio or something with an LED light in them. I don't think these fit in them. No. So an LED light in them, even like hung up with greenery or whatever. I just thought these were gorgeous. Even craft room, this would be super pretty. If you have like shelving to put like wood beads in, buttons, I mean, whatever. For a dollar, you guys, these look pretty dang snazzy, okay, for a buck. So, you guys, that is the haul. I hope I make you feel normal, okay? Because I know you guys make me feel normal when I'm crafting and saying, you know, only thing that crafters and Dollar Tree crafters would understand. And that's why I wanted to show you my, um, my, my hoarding. Okay. But now that I've filmed this video, I will put the stuff on the shelves today or tomorrow. Okay. That's what I'll commit to today or tomorrow. <laughs> But I have to start DIYing for Tuesday's video, so it, it has to be soon. I set it all on my craft table. That way it's high up. I don't have to keep bending over. And if I want to craft, I have to clear the craft table. So that'll entice me. That, that's how my mind's working right now. All right, you guys. I hope you enjoyed this Dollar Tree haul. Let me know what cool stuff you found, what you feel like you need to find that I found. And I hope you guys all have an amazing weekend with your friends and your family. Stay safe, stay healthy, and I will see you back here soon. Bye.